Hi, this is Firas Samir from dealingwithwindows.com. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to manage and how to deal with the system restore tool. How to open the uh, system restore interface uh, by uh, two options, either by uh, clicking on the start menu, then all programs, then accessories directory, then system tools, then selecting the system restore. This is the main interface of the system restore. And also we can open it by clicking on the start menu again and help and support. Under the pick a task category, we click on undo changes to your computer with system restore link. So we will have the same interface. This is the main interface of the system restore. In the main interface of the system restore, uh, we have two options. Either to restore the computer to an earlier time, in case if we need to restore uh, our uh, operating system to, uh, to a recent restoring point, or to create a restoring point, a new one. So the first one, I will show you how to create uh, a new restoring point by clicking on this option and then click on next it will ask us to enter a name or description of that particular restoring point in this uh, case for example I'm gonna name it as good condition and then I'll click create to take couple of seconds and then uh, it will show me the description of that uh, creation as you can see here it shows me the date and time created and the name of that uh, restoring points let's let's get back to the home page so here uh, if we want for example to use the system restore we can click on uh, the uh, the first uh, option restore my computer to an earlier time and we click on next you can see here that it will give us like a calendar so we can click on one of the uh, dates that uh, we want to retrieve back the good condition at that particular date in my case I have for example the Friday on this one I, I click on it uh, it's already there because today is Friday I have here several uh, restoring points um, the system the system checkpoint those system checkpoint created automatically by the windows the rest of those system uh, restoring points I have created myself so by selecting one of them and clicking on next we will give uh, we will have this notification uh, knowing that if i click next now uh, the system will reboot in order to perform the restoring it will take maybe a couple of minutes sometimes to restore the uh, windows uh, condition uh, so uh, better if you have any opened windows or you were, you, you were using something or working on something better you save it and close it before you click next because the windows will reboot immediately I'm not going to reboot because the only thing uh, it will do only to uh, rebooting and then it will start the windows normally again with the uh, previous condition so so how to enable and disable the system restore actually it's better to keep it on uh, don't turn it off uh, but just in case uh, just to show you the option how to enable or disable but it's so easy just uh, by going to the my computer icon and right click on it then choosing properties then to system restore tab you will find here this checkbox uh, by uh, if you if you tick it, it means you're turning off the system restore. Uh, 
Uh, and from here, from this uh, interface, you can manage the ha the uh, monitoring for this uh, system restore on all the partitions of the hard disk drive. For example, uh, if you click on C drive and click clicking on settings button, you will find this uh, dialog box which allows you to resize the amount of the restoring points. The smallest amount, uh, the lowest number for the uh, restoring points. Uh, normally it gives the maximum. I keep it as the default option. And uh, I want you to remember something. Because the operating system keeps on creating restoring points, those restoring points, if it keep on created, the operating system performance will be affected over time because those files, the restoring points, will be having bigger size uh, over time. So what to do regarding this? We can simply uh, delete all the restoring points but leave the recently one exist. And how we, we can we do that? It's so easy by going to the particular drive for example we we open my computer and then for example uh, we want to um, delete all the restoring points for the C partition but leave only the recent one uh, how to do that right click on the desired partition and choose properties and then by clicking on this cleanup and wait for a while till it opens the this interface uh, and uh, from more options you can see here the system restore you can free more disk space by removing all but the most recent restore point so by cleaning up by clicking on this button it will ask us, are you sure you want to delete all but the most recent restore points? Yes, I agree about that. After that, we have to click on OK to perform this action. We click Yes. And now it will start cleaning the C drive. Plus, it will delete the restoring points but the recent one. Now what in case if the windows uh, failed to um, creating the, the automatic restoring points if you if you see if you have this issue that the windows uh, is not creating the automatic restoring points uh, you have to check task schedule service it means this task schedule service is turning off so you have to turn it on so how to check this task uh, schedule whether it's on or off simply by going to start and then clicking on run it's going to start then clicking on run and right here services.mse msc click on enter the services console will appear search for the task schedule and the in, in all between all those services task schedule this is the task schedule so you can see here that in my case it's started uh, and the startup type is automatic if you see that the automatic is disabled or the started is not there double click on this selection and choose automatic from here and click on start button in order to start this service in this case you will be sure that the windows will create the system restore automatically